When you think of Lawn and Victoria's Surf Coast, you don't tend to think of being inside watching movies. But that is what event director Darren Markey and curator Bernie Clifford hope to achieve with Lawn Film. The two men have known each other for about 30 years and started bringing together Darren's idea 18 months ago. Lawn has a long and proud history as a meeting place. I think it's ready to be put on the International Film Festival circuit. Our ambition is that one day Lawn Film will become a film market so people from all over the world will come here to talk, think, buy, sell film. The launch of the Film Festival's program took place on Saturday night with a screening of Norwegian drama Headhunters. Mornington actor Jim Lawson was on hand to introduce the film and ask some questions of the festival's director. So tell us about some of the things that you know, really feature in this program. Uh, well, we had a lot of luck with our opening night uh, film and it was just a piece of serendipity. A, a, a good mate of mine sent me a link via Facebook, just all I said was check this. I clicked on it and it's a film called Uncharted Waters. Festival director Darren Markey and CEO Emma Crichton hope to one day turn the festival into a 10 day long film market comparable to the likes of Cannes and Toronto. But in the meantime they hope to give something back to the community. Our lawn is so beautiful, I love it. It's just such a passionate, gorgeous, amazing place and you're never lonely in this town because everyone's so friendly and wonderful. There's an opportunity to create a true festival community for the duration of the, of the festival. Um, so I think the fact that we're by the seaside, we've got this natural amphitheatre, um, it's a real hospitality town, so there are plenty of places where you could set up hubs, like um, festival hubs, like bars and, and, and wherever, and there's convention centres here, so everything's there. From the iconic Lawn Theatre in Lawn's Main Street to the Mantra Conference Centre Ballroom, Lawn Film will use an array of different venues to host screenings. One such venue is Kudos in the foothills of the Otway Ranges a multifunctional arts centre that will play host to the screening of 1954 classic The Old Man and the Sea on Saturday evening. We made it clear from the very beginning that lawn film is not about red carpet and glitterati and flashing lights. Um, we're about filmmakers and people that watch film. The festival has a range of sponsors including the Surf Coast Shire and Regional Development Victoria with Minister for Tr Public Transport and Roads, Terry Mulder, announcing the Victorian Government would contribute $10,000. Local councillor Clive Goldsworthy was also in attendance at the program launch to give his support to the budding festival. What we're trying to do across the community is to extend the peak period and extend it right through and create more events for lawn that encourages people to come in the off-season. From the local films, including entries from the region's schools, to international films from as far as Sweden and Denmark, the program for Lawn Film will have something for all film lovers and sounds like it will be well worth the trip down the Great Ocean Road. We want to put on a really great event that people love, good films, good people, good fun. And I'm just looking forward to seeing how it unfolds, you know, and I'm looking forward to seeing the town's response to it.